uh, we have two generator EU 2000i in here one is a standard one is a companion so we can just couple them together and run a 4000 watt unit with it <coughs> we modify one of these two generator that is going to be this companion that is run on trifle for right now later on we're going to change the other one too if you take a look at outside the generator the only obvious different that you see between these two generator from outside is just going to be this quick connection that we do have right in here that I just plugged on that debris doesn't get in <coughs> this is the carburetor this is the original carburetor for this generator for modification that it run with a gas we just drill the hole right in <coughs> here right there right there let me just point over there drill the hole right in here and install the jet that is going to connect it to the hose is allow the propane or natural gas get inside the carburetor if you want to use them instead of the gasoline to run in the <clears throat> let me just open them up and show you what is going to be inside the unit as you see that lead is when you closing them up it's completely flush it's nothing pushing the lead out Right in here, this is the new generator, uh, the uh, new carburetor that we installed with the jet. This is the hose that is coming out of that jet. Goes in the top, coming down to this valve, gas valve that we're right now is in an off position. It's going to go down, goes to the another connector, and it's coming ending up to this quick connecting outside. <clears throat> if you want to run the generator with a propane or natural gas, we do need the hose and we need a couple more regulator that I'm going to start talking about those. Let's just go to the propane tank. This is the uh, standard propane tank, 20 pound. Uh, the pressure inside of them is based on the temperature, environment temperature. It can be anywhere between 60 to 250 pound. We do need two regulator. One, this is a small one that is changing the high pressure of the gas to the about half a PSI in the output of the first uh, first regulator the second regulator that is going to be this one the maximum input pressure that it can have is something around 11 water column that is going to be every 27.5 water column is about one psi so it's approximately half a psi the output of the second regulator it uh, has a pressure of the minus 0.5 water column so it's all the time is in a vacuum or suction mode if the vacuum or suction does not exist this regulator is automatically shut the gas off so there no gas is going through so the way that it is right now it has some sort of the safety built into it too in case if the engine go the generator goes off or something happened to the hose or disconnected the suction goes away and this regulator shutting off the gas flow. Now I'm just going to go ahead and connect the unit and turn them on to see how this thing does. I'm using the 25 foot gas line in RV and I can use the two big propane tank that is in front of the RV. We are going to connect them. It's going to be pretty easy. I unplug this <coughs> lead right in here. Connect them. That's it. This is pretty much secure. Get the other end, <coughs> same way, plug them in, and it's ready to go. Now we're going to open the gas. To turning on the unit, before we do anything, when we run the gasoline, we use the choke. When we run the gas or propane, we have to use the primer. With this way, I'm going to fill up the uh, gas pipe uh, the, that I do have to carburetor with a propane. If I push right in here, if you go closer, you can hear the hissing sound that the gas is going through. Come in here, let me show them that I'm going to open this valve right in here. <coughs> and now let's just go ahead and to the primer. Let me press the primer and then you can hear the hissing sound. So based on the how long a hose you do have, you have to hold the primer longer. If you have a shorter hose, you holding up shorter time. Now, it should be ready to go. My guess is going to take about uh, four or three or four start, pull start before the generator coming. Let's just turn them on. 
make sure when you're using the gas choke it's off and the uh, engine switch that you do have right in here must be on the off position if you're using the propane or natural gas so let's just start it once twice On the third slide, it came on, it's running, I'm going to put them in the economy mode, and the RPM is going to go down, it's in idle mode, I do have two light over there, they are between 7 to 800 watts, I'm going to put a load on them to doing so, I'm just going to put them in normal mode, and then connect the load to it. Engine. Of course the propane is going to be much cleaner, the engine in life is going to be much more longer than you're using just the gasoline. Storing the propane is much easier and if you buy them in a higher volume, the propane per gallon is much cheaper than the regular gasoline. Of course the efficiency of the propane is not as good as the gasoline but uh, that's going to offset up the, the propane. I do have a I do believe it has about 95% uh, percent efficiency of the regular gasoline. So if I want to turn off the unit, I can turn them off with this valve. Disconnect either end of the gas line or shut the gas valve from there off, from the main source of the propane. So now we are going to shut them off from here. The engine goes right away off. I'm going to get rid of the load. I mean, it doesn't matter if the load is connected or not, but in this scenario, I'm going to get rid of the load. Disconnect my hoses. As you see right now, I don't need to shut the gas valve off over. There is no gas coming out of this point. Why? Because there's no suction exists. The minute that the suction happens, the pressure in this side of the, this big regulator is all the time is minus 0.5 water column so it is in a vacuum mode to allow the gas goes if the engine running at a higher rpm is using more gas uh, regulator must allow more gas to goes through to keep the pressure in the other side all the time constant now we want to turn the unit on using the gasoline to doing so i already shut the uh, gas line uh, off i put the uh, turn on the engine switch and uh, turn on the choke uh, we have to remember right now is no gasoline inside the carburetor top so it might not come on with the first pull maybe it take more than a pull pull a start to coming down let's just try see how many times we have to pull okay. now it's running on the gasoline i'm gonna put the load on I'm going to shut this thing off again and put the propane back again on. When I shut them off, as I said on my first video, it, it, it does not going to go off right away. It will use all of the gas inside the carburetor top before it goes off. In that way, I'm not going to end up with the gum off. If you want to know how it's going to be done, you can take a look at the first video. Now, this takes a part two minutes it just depended to the load the heavier load that you do have the faster the engine is going to go off whenever you're done with this if you don't want to do any debris getting there just use the one regular plug plug on it that the thing doesn't get in there it's a regulator i put a bracket right in here then i connect the quick connect right in here the weight of the hose doesn't pull this thing down you can do come up with a different way of doing it that's just the style of doing it now this engine supposed to goes off i guess it's in about next 15 seconds or so again whenever you're using the natural or propane make sure the engine switch is in the off position and the choke is in the off position. Do not use either one of these when you're using the natural gas or propane. Okay. Engine goes off. 
I get rid of the load. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the gas line again I, because I want to use them all the time for the gas from now on I don't need to keep this lid open and even if you make a decision which one you want to use you don't need to keep opening and closing this lid you can just leave that valve open disconnect this connect and connect the other end the gas is already open I just need to just prime them Fill up the gas pipe with a gas, with just priming. If you just go closer, they can hear the hissing sound. Okay, now it should be ready. Now we're gonna pull and turn on the unit. The reason that it take longer this time because I did not prime them enough. If you prime them correctly, the amount of the gas inside the pipe is going to be right. The number of the pull start becoming lower. I mean, it's going to be the first one or second one is going to turn the unit. This time, again, anything happened to this hose. If the air get in there, because it's in a vacuum right now, or suction, the minute that I disconnect them from here or shut them off, the unit is going to go off. And the gas is going to stop. No gas is coming out of this point. It means if you just try it with a soap water, you can see there's no gas is coming.